In this video I'm going to show you how to control the duration of an image in the preferences and on the timeline. I'm also going to show you how to crop and adjust colors. The first thing you want to do is go to the preference menu for iMovie and change the default settings for your project. Turn off Ken Burns and ask all of the pictures to fit into the window when they're put on the timeline. The second thing is to change the duration that you want it to appear on the timeline. All of them will obey whatever standard you put into this box. I have found six seconds is a good time, but you can make it any timing that you choose. You can do this at any time in the project, moving forward, but this is a standard setting for all photographs. So anything you put on the timeline prior to changing this, you're going to have to change on the timeline. But anything moving forward from this point will adjust to the settings you put in the preferences. The first way you can change the duration of the picture is to select it on the timeline and you can see that there's a little window that pops up that tells you it's six seconds long and then you can just pull on the end of the image on the timeline and a window pops up showing you the timing as it's being stretched out so you can see what timing you've adjusted it to manually. Then there's a second way to change the timing of an image on the timeline. So on the control bar above the preview window there is a circle with a letter I in it. This is where you change the duration of the slide to whatever you want it to be. You always put the number and then a dot and a zero for seconds. I have found the best way to make that lock in is to put the number in and then press the return key on your keyboard to lock it in. Sometimes when you put the number in and then go down and click on the timeline it resets back to what it was before. I don't know why, it's just a glitch in iMovie. A lot of times there's a lot of stuff above and below pictures that have been taken in vertical orientation that you just don't need. What's really important is the person in the picture. So I like to crop to fit the picture and then move the window so that the person's in the right position inside the window. The Ken Burns effect can be really nice but you have to go in and fix it if it's automatically been applied because it will zoom in on the wrong thing. So you can go in and adjust the start and point and the end point and have it move across the picture, up and down the picture. If it's moving too quickly you need to make the picture duration longer so that the Ken Burns effect has time to slowly do its thing without feeling like it's rushing. You'll notice there's some yellow crosshairs that appear as you're moving the box around. Those tell you that you have the box centered in the, in the frame. Another thing you can do is you can adjust automatically the color tone and contrast of your photograph. And there is a little magic wand on the toolbar that will equalize the sound and adjust the color balance automatically to what it thinks is best. After you apply the magic wand you can go in and make more adjustments yourself. So you can go in here and you can warm it up, you can cool it down, you can remove the color so it's desaturated and looks black and white and you can control the contrast. If you have a group of pictures on the timeline that you need to change all of them to the same timing and you don't want to do them individually, you can do that. Draw an imaginary box over the slides and select them all together on the timeline. Go up to the toolbar to the timing window and change the duration to whatever you want it to be and then press the return key on the keyboard all of the slides will change together to the same timing. Transitions. Go to the transition category, select the transition, drop it between the two pictures on the timeline. You can also double click on the transition and change the timing so that it lasts longer. If you put a transition on you don't like, you can click on it and press your delete key and remove it. 
and then you can right click on the picture and the menu has the cross dissolve option as a transition and it'll automatically add it with having without having to go up to the transition menu to put it in now when you're done you're going to go up to the button there the share button put the title of your movie here at the top and then check your settings you're going to have video and audio we want the highest resolution possible so 1080p is the highest we can go and we want high quality don't go above high we don't need that and the format changes if you go above high quality and the format won't play on YouTube and then you can see there it tells you how long your show is and how big it is that concludes our first tutorial in iMovie happy editing everybody